It is very early in the morning and my voice sounds raspy and low because everyone in the house is asleep and I've been getting up extra early every single day. So I decided why not go through the pile of backup drawers I have and put some things in the giveaway or, or pass along bucket or if I want to keep these products. I have two drawers full of backups and I know that as much as I've been buying stuff, I haven't been reaching in my backup drawer. So this is like a declutter type of video. Some things will go in the giveaway because I'm claiming it and I'm speaking it. We are on the road to 5K this year. And with it being 5K, I want to have a really good giveaway and I really want to have two winners for 5k. I have my coffee. I have one being in front of me. I also have another being behind me and I literally seriously want to go through my giveaway pile to see if it's still products I want to give away to you guys. So we're gonna jump right in. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you guys see some goodies that you may see coming to the giveaway. I will be doing my giveaway only here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna move this big old bucket out the way and we're gonna start discussing products that we have in here. All right, so we got some products sitting in front of us. You guys, this is just some. I set the bucket to the side of me. I want to tell you guys that if I keep anything, it'll go this way. And if I get rid of anything for you guys, it's going to go this way. And I'm just going to put the stuff that I'm going to pass along to like my sister or somebody. It's going to go right here. So this is a few things and a lot of the things in my backup drawer I didn't even know I had. And this is just some of it. Now we are gonna talk about my back to Mac stuff. I do have some products that are, like I said, back to Mac. And I just kept it in my backup drawer so that I won't lose it. So we're gonna keep this stuff. I have this Mac cleansing oil, cleanse off oil. I never used it so I said I was gonna empty it out and back to Mac it with the rest of my products. Okay, so I know the color changing lipsticks that I found at the Dollar Tree. I know I'm gonna give these to my nieces. Um, I have blueberry scent and grape scent. It says it has glitter in it. Oh, I do see the glitter now. But it's color changing lipsticks and I was gonna use it in a video, but I never did open them. So I'm gonna give these away to my nieces and let them have fun with this. All right, this Derm, I think it's called Dermuva Lace Pill-Off Mask, Bamboo, Black Bamboo Charcoal Pill-Off Mask, Intense Exfoliating Facial Mask with a Compression Lace Support. I used this one time, I got it in my BoxyCharm and I used it one time and didn't really see anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my bathroom so that I could go ahead and use the second sheet mask that it has in here. Um, and I guess do like a Instagram video for you guys or something like that, but it didn't really show me anything. I know it was hard to peel off. The lace didn't really mean anything to me. I think the purpose of the lace was just to, it was just for a presentation type of thing. It wasn't really anything that the lace did. So I'm gonna put this in my bath, my bathroom and do like a Instagram video or something for you guys. Um, this aromatherapy, uh, Nature's Oregon, Origin, sorry. Yeah, I told y'all this is early in the morning. Um, it's a lavender essential oil blend. It's soothing, calming, and reassuring. It's a roll-on ball. I got this in a subscription box as well, and I never used it. I put it in my backup drawer to use, but I never did get any use out of it. 
it says that it's tree free paper not tested on animals non-gmo paraben free gluten free and quality assured um yeah i never used this the box is looking like really old and stuff so i think i am going to pass this along to my sister and see if she likes it okay so for my jazzy girl cosmetics product i got i think this is a highlighter that they sent me if you haven't heard of jazzy girl cosmetics they are on instagram i will have all their information linked down below jaquita and quita quinita is the founders and co-founder of the company and like i said it's jazzy girl cosmetics i do or did have a discount code with them you guys could check it out and use it to the, your liking. But this one is a blush, I believe. It's a mineral pressed face bronzer and pink luminizer. You guys, this is such a pretty blush. I'm not gonna swatch it or anything because I do have one of these. So I am gonna put this in a giveaway just so that you guys can have a test run or a feel for jazzy girl cosmetics they are a really good cosmetics line and you guys know i've been working with them since i want to say 2018. um i have my kevin aquan highlighter this is the neo highlighter i bought this from platinum d here on youtube she has a poshmark and i always try to support platinum d i love me some platinum d so I bought this from her and I don't use it as often because it's Kevin Aquan. But you guys, look at this. I love that it goes from a deeper to a brighter. Like I said, I don't use it as much, but I am gonna start using it. Woke up like this and inside of my cup it says flawless. Okay, something that I know I'm not gonna get rid of, sorry you guys, but my Crumb Shop Swipe Right brow gel i'm not getting rid of this you guys know ever since i found this in my cvs i've been killing it and i told you guys i was going to get a backup and i did so i will not be giving this away nine times out of ten i will go back to cvs and pick up like two different shades for the giveaway so that y'all can have options one will go to one person one will go to another person and i'm telling you guys this is the best brow gel i came across in 2019. i won't be giving away my lash adhesive by kiss this is the lash couture i like this this one is in black i do have clear these are just the brush on eyelash glues that i love to have i think i am gonna give you guys the l'oreal infallible um waterproof black eyeliner because i have one i've been using it for some time i really love how creamy it is it takes extra work to get this off of your waterline but it is a really good very dark eyeliner okay the hydrating gel mask i am currently using one right now from elf and this one says the hydrating gel mask the one I'm using is the Hydrating Bubble Mask. Um, I love e.l.f. products and I love their skincare line. This one is a clear gel mask that helps smooth and nourish your skin. It's infused with purified water, aloe, coconut, chia seed, coconut and chia seed. The cooling formula helps revitalize the skin and retain moisture for a healthy looking glow. So I'm going to give this to you guys since I'm already using the bubble mask. So with that being said, I am going to keep the moisturizing sleep mask. This is a actual backup. Um, this one here wasn't a backup. I never tried it, but I could go and buy another one at any given moment. I wanted to give it to one of you guys. I really, truly love the e.l.f. hydrating. I mean, Lord Jesus, y'all. I really love the e.l.f. skincare line. And it's really been doing wonders for my skin. This one here is a backup. And I remember liking it. So I bought another one. So I am going to keep the moisturizing sleeping mask. This one is purified water, aloe, vitamin E, and jojoba. 
Y'all, this stuff is some good stuff. It's a clear leave-on mask that can hydrate you overnight so that you wake up soft and feeling skin-like, look refreshed and nourishing. Like I said, it has purified water in it, aloe, vitamin E, and jojoba that helps nourish your skin. So I am going to keep this one because I really enjoyed this. My Viva La Juicy. Oh, you guys. This is one of my favorite perfumes. One of my absolute favorite perfumes. This and Paris Hilton is like one of my absolute favorites. I think I'm going to take this and put it in my car. I always keep perfume in my car and I actually just ran out. I think it was called White Diamond that I had in my car for a minute. So I think I'm gonna put this in my car and add it to my car scents. Um, my Muse Lash, this is 50 pairs of lashes that I found on Amazon. I am gonna give this to my sister. Um, I didn't really enjoy them because they're not as full as I thought they were gonna be, but it is a good set of lashes for beginners. Um, this is what they look like. I used only one pair, but it's different types of lashes. If you guys can see, different types of lashes that I think anybody would be happy to use if they're not, you know, too familiar with lash application or the different styles of lashes, but I'm a full length thickness girl and like I said, it's 50 pairs, five different styles. I think it's a good idea. Okay, this perfect 18 color eyeshadow palette by Absolute. You guys, I seen somebody a long time ago using this palette. I found it at my beauty supply store. I seen somebody a long time ago use this and I was like, oh my God, I gotta pick it up. It's so pigmented. It works so well on them, so I need to use it on me and see if I like it. I love the color range, but I don't remember using it. I think I swatched it, it looked like, but I don't ever remember actually using it. So let's give it a couple of swatches. This yellow was like one of my favorites to look at with this lime green, but you see how powdery they look. I think I'm gonna give this to my niece. Oh, that blue is gorgeous. Okay, it looks like the shimmer colors are way better than the mattes, yes. For my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powders, you guys know these were new to the market when I found them. This shade is in Honeymoon. Um, I actually, bought one already well i bought both of them but i actually bought one already and i thought i was missing this shade but i actually really had this shade so this one is the backup and i'm gonna give it to one of you guys as you can tell seal is still on it little sponge is still there i want to give this to one of you guys so i do have the wet and wild photo focus banana powder it is a backup I haven't opened it yet, but you guys know I'm in love with the banana powder as well as the translucent powder by Wet n Wild. So I am gonna keep this. And I do have extra wig caps that I get from companies. So I keep those in my backup drawer when I don't have no more room for them. <laughs> um, this Fenty Beauties, what is this one? Platomic Relationships. This is a gloss. Y'all know I had like the whole freaking line. And some products from the Fenty line I did not use, which like this one I never used. So this will go into the giveaway as well. All right, the CoverGirl, what is this one? The CoverGirl Translucent Honey Powder. This is just a loose powder. I had two of these open and did not like them so i am gonna pass this one along to my sister and see if she likes it and i if i'm not mistaken i think i gave her a couple of those already 
So these are my BH Cosmetics Blending Eyeshadow Trios. <clears throat> you guys know this brush right here is my absolute favorite. And I have like maybe 20 of these already. I bought them in the three piece because they are always on sale on BH Cosmetics for this three piece set and they're always cheap but this is like one of my favorite blending brushes and I always buy the three piece just for this brush because alone buying this brush will be more than actually getting the trio. So I am going to keep these. I'll keep them as backup but I already have I think like two two of them in my giveaway drawer already because I want you guys to know how good these are and I want you guys to have the same experience as me. So we're going to keep that all in the back of the drawer. Okay, so for my LA, my LA Colors eyeliner slash brow pencil in dark brown, I opened it. I have one. I've been using it. I have a lot of them, so I am going to pass this along to my sister. I use these for my brows when I don't feel like using pomade, and they work great. My On the Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil by Wet n Wild. This is the Fergie Collection, you guys. Listen to how far back this is from. The Fergie Collection. My gosh. This one is in Space Cake. I never even used it, so I am going to give it to my sister. I do have an extra pump from MAC that I'm going to keep for my foundations. The e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This one is in Clear. I do have a backup, and I am actually using it right now. I am going to put this in the giveaway pile for you guys. If y'all hear the dog in the background barking, that is not my dog. That is a dog out there in these streets barking. Sorry. Um, I am going to keep my lip smacker. This is the Coca-Cola lip chap. Y'all, I love Coca-Cola, as y'all know. And I'm forever using lip chap. I have another Lash Kiss. is in black. I'm keeping. Okay, so the Bella Pierre Volume Lash Waterproof Mascara. I got this in a subscription box. Never opened it. I wanted to try it, but y'all, I have so many mascaras that huh, I just don't use, so I'm going to put this in the giveaway. I do have the makeup Shayla in Maybelline Big Colossal Mascaras. This one is in the Boomin in Blue. I never use them. I'm going to give one to you guys, and I'm going to keep one. My Wet n Wild Dark Brow Pencil. You guys know I love these color icon pencils. I use these for my brows as well. So I'm going to give one to you guys so y'all can experience it. Um, What is this? Ooh. The L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Liner is a black velvet. It looks like it's a cushiony pen. Hmm. I'm going to keep this and try it out. If you guys ever tried this out, let me know down below in the comments. Now, what I do know I gave a try is the L'Oreal Infallible. No, the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Liquid Liner. This one is really good. This one is in the blackest black. This one is really, really, really good. I don't know if I want to give it to you guys or keep it. It like makes an awesome cat eye look. I don't think I have this one no more. I'm gonna keep it, but if I can find this in the store, you guys, I will pick up one for you guys because that is really good. I have another e.l.f. brow pencil in deep brown. You guys know I've been rocking with these for years. I'm gonna give this one to my sister though because I think I have like three of them open right now. So I'm gonna give that to my sister as well as the LA Cutter. Ugh. The LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. This one is in black as well. Y'all know we love us some, uh, I was about to say mechanical pencils. You know we love the retractable liners. You guys, those are awesome. So I do have a Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This is a sample. I currently have one right now that I'm using so I am going to put this one into the giveaway. My Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is a metallic eyeliner and this one is in Sea Dreams. I'm going to keep this. Let's see if it's any good. Yeah, we're going to keep that and see what it's about. And it's some of the stuff in my backup drawer that I just really need to take out and start using but I just haven't. 
Um, I do have the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. This is the Volumizing Mascara. I've never tried this, and I think I picked it up because it was like on sale or something at the time. So I am gonna keep this and try it out. The Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. And y'all know I love waterproof mascaras. Um, I do have, and this is not old, you guys. It's just been laying down. I have the Rimmel Lasting Finishing 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. Jesus, that's a long name. Um, it has SPF 18 in it, and it's in the shade 504 Deep Mocha. I do have one. Oh, this one is expired, you guys. I never even opened this, and it's already expired. Like, the seal is still there and everything. Um, <laughs> I do have one of these in my drawer already that I'm using, but since this one is expired, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out. It says October 2019, so... We're gonna throw that out. And we do have all of these stickers, the body stickers, jewels, stuff like that. I'm not gonna like really talk about them, but I keep these when, I keep these in my drawer just in case I wanna do fun festival looks or if I ever in life decide to do Halloween tutorials or something like that, I will have them. So I do have a couple of different ones. And then I have the metallic tattoos. I mean, like, I have some good stuff for if I ever want to get colorful, colorful and festive and stuff. But I just don't use them. I don't freaking use them whatsoever. So I think I'm going to give all the tattoos away to my nieces and let them have fun with them. The last tattoos I gave them, they all like had them on the same day so I, I buy all this stuff just to try to get creative and you know make my content fun but y'all i never freaking use it so y'all need to hold me accountable <clears throat> and make me use some of this stuff so i do have a makeup forever excessive lash um never used it and don't remember where i even got it from mm -hmm. but since it's a mini i'm gonna go ahead and keep it but i'm gonna throw the box away so this is the ending of it and you guys i have so many mascaras that it don't even make sense like why do you have so many mascaras okay so i do have a maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder in 330 toffee i don't think i ever opened. oh yes i have okay so i have toffee it doesn't even seem like toffee will match me. I know I swatched it. It looks like it. Y'all, yeah. what am I thinking? What am I doing? I'm gonna give this to my sister and see if it matches her. Um, I do have this Assured Vitamin E Enriched Creamy Cocoa Butter Skin Softener Hydrates and Even Skin Tone. This looks like a lotion that I got from the dollar store. Oh, and it smells like coconut so much. Um, I'm going to keep this. I mean, lotion don't hurt nobody. Same way with the Skin Volve Body Karate Cream. <laughs> Caffeine and Argan Oil Hydrates Tone Smooth Improves Skin Texture, Paraben Free and Sulfate Free. And then we have the Dermaseal Labs Controls Even Severe Dry Skin. Okay. Advanced Treatment Cream Lotion. This seems like I got it from the Dollar Tree too. Oh, it really doesn't smell like anything, so I guess I'll be keeping lotions. So here is the nitty gritty and the final things of stuff. We have the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Never opened it. This is in Jet Black. I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. I do have this Yes To Body Butter. Um, did I just open it? Yes, I did. That I never used. Um, this one is in Melon Melon. I was really into Yes To for a long while, especially when I was couponing. So I am going to keep this and give it a try. I did just open it. I thought I had used this one already, but it's never been open and it doesn't really have a melon smell. But Yes To is a good brand if you guys have never tried them out they are a really good brand um i do have another 
Makeup Shayla collection in Maybelline. This one is in Poppin' Purple. I'm going to keep this and give it a shot. Sorry if you guys hear music in the back. People are starting to wake up and move around. Um, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara in Blackest. I've never tried this, so I think I'm going to keep it and give it a go. Oh my God, y'all. I have a full size better than six mascara. Um, I Like I said, I'm currently using one right now in my everyday shop, my stash, my everyday makeup drawer. So I have a full size one. So I guess I'm going to keep this one since I gave you guys one and I have a mini. I'm going to keep it. And then I know for a fact I'm going to keep the Maybelline Big Colossal Lash. I love this mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So I'm going to keep that one <clears throat> in my backup drawer. And then my last two products are my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers. You guys, I love these. I'm currently using Dark Cocoa right now, which here's a backup. My Dark Cocoa that's in my everyday drawer right now is a part of my project pan. I also have medium deep tan and y'all I will buy these all the time just to keep them in my collection and have them oh excuse me and have them in rotation because these are some good drugstore concealers. So we do have this next drawer and basically in this drawer it is backups. It is packaging. Why do I keep packaging? I have no freaking clue. I keep all packaging. I don't I don't know why, y'all. Like, seriously, empty box. Uh -huh. This Pure Cosmetics Inspire Your Selfie I got at Ulta for buying, like, a lot of stuff. I'm going to put this in to the giveaway because I never used it. It has the... Pure No Filter Primer. There's a lip gloss and a mascara, fully charged mascara. I'm going to give this to one of you guys. I do have the NYX Beauty School Drop Out. <clears throat> it's a makeup bag that I got. I think it was like at TJ Maxx or something with the makeup brushes and stuff. But I never ended up using the makeup bag. So I am going to fill this up with some goodies and put it a part of the giveaway for you guys. My Holland's Natural Stuff, I put this in there because I am not done using any of it. Look at that. Now, what I can tell you guys is I can give you guys the active charcoal mask. Um, I never used it. You guys, literally, I never used it. I don't know how to use masks that come in a powder form. So, I'm going to put this in the giveaway. You guys know Holland's Natural sent me all of their products to test out. And I've been loving it. I'm pretty sure this mask is a good mask. But I don't really work with powder form. <clears throat> but these, the... Regenerative Moisturizer and a Detox Night Cream. I'm going to keep this stuff. I'm also going to keep the cleansing oil and the serum. You guys know I like killed this stuff for a minute now. I do, like I told y'all, have packaging. Why? Why do I have packaging? Look at this. I'm going to keep the primer to come from Holland's Natural. You guys, why do I keep packaging? You know what I'm saying? Like, for what? Why? Why? I have no clue. I keep the packaging to everything. Black Radiant Soft Focus. This one is in Creamy Bronze Finish. You guys know this is a press powder that I've been loving for a long time. I do have a Creamy Bronze and a Milk Chocolate that's currently in my Project Pan. If you guys have never try these pressed powders you need to go out and buy them right now and try them because they are a life saver girl look at all this stuff <laughs> why why do i keep this stuff okay this is adhesive diamond wrap um me and my mom we're 
doing projects at um i don't know if y'all ever seen it i would insert a clip right now of the makeup tower she made me and it's wrapped in this stuff i'm gonna keep this but i'm gonna use this for you know my beauty drawers and stuff but not nothing on my face y'all i got all this stuff and this was in a whole nother drawer like what the world come on okay <clears throat> the luscious angel eye eyeshadow primer base i got this in a subscription box i am gonna give this to one of you guys i don't use eyeshadow primers i just use my concealer so i am gonna give that to one of you guys my city mini times makeup shayla this one is in what is this line and your name it just says city mini palette times makeup shayla i'm gonna keep this i never even used it i remember when i was on a hunt for these all of makeup shayla's collection with maybelline y'all know i love maybelline i love me some makeup shayla matter of fact congratulations to makeup shayla and let's forget engaged on Christmas. Congratulations. They all know who I am, but I just want to put it out there. Um, but I love me some makeup Shayla and I love Maybelline. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it one day. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to use it one day. Um, this voice mic, um, I'm going to give it to my niece. My niece is starting her YouTube channel. So I'm going to give this to her. I don't use it the elf glitter eyeliner you guys i don't even know if this works pink opal y'all this stuff is in my backup drawer okay it's still good this stuff is in my backup drawer and i damn near don't even go into the drawer no more so i am gonna keep that i have another black radiance photo focus in creamy bronze i'm telling you guys this is some good stuff i have to keep those on hand I have a Smashbox always on metallic lipstick in So Jelly. You guys, why did I even buy this? Or did I buy it? I don't freaking know, but oh, that is very freaking pretty. But you guys, I have never used this. I don't even remember. Oh, that looks real pretty. I want to swatch it so bad, but. I'm going to give it to one of you guys. This is so pretty. I have a Hakari liquid liner that I remember getting in a BoxyCharm and I never used it. So I'm going to keep this one and try it out. Now that I'm actually cleaning out my backup drawer, maybe I could actually see some things and actually use some things. This pineapple bag my mom gave to me and I put it in my backup drawer. I actually need to use this for my quarters because we always, when we get together as a family, we like to play cards. So I need to keep this and put it for my quarters. That's what I need to do. Okay, we got Deborah Lipman, I guess. I don't know. Here is a nail polish from her. I remember getting this in one of my subscription boxes. I'm gonna give that to my niece. This Milani put stay put matte liquid liner in coffee matte. Y'all, I know I'm not gonna use this. This is coffee matte, so that's a form of brown. I'm gonna give that to my sister. The hard candy color corrector, I'm gonna give to my sister. Um LA Colors Lip Duo. I'm going to give this to my niece. This is in the shade Clarity. I remember picking up a whole bunch of these, but I never opened any of them. So, yeah, I'm going to give that to my niece. My Black Radiance Black Velvet Liquid Liner. I have yet to try it, so I'm going to try it. Ooh, here's one I can give to you guys. The I think these are called Makeup Junkie. It says lip paint pucker up, long lasting smudge proof lip color. It comes with cosmetic glitter inside. I got these at Walmart, you guys. If y'all have never seen these, look them up. I did use a nude color and I liked that liquid lipstick. I have it somewhere in my collection. But I did go back and buy the red one with the glitter lips. It looks very pretty and promising, but I'm just never going to freaking use it. <laughs> um, my two Maybelline 
Fit Me concealers. I have cocoa and I have honey. Of course, cocoa will be for contouring. Honey is a new shade that I haven't ever tried for my concealer, so I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm gonna keep my Beauty Bakery Illuminator in So Icy. This one is in Frozen. I have opened this. And I have used it and I like it. It's just a loose powder, but I can't fit it in my drawers because my drawers are so shallow. <clears throat> but I do like this and it is really good. And I just keep it in my backup drawer just so that I can store it nicely. Um, okay, my e.l.f. makeup brush cleansing glove. You guys, I bought this because I was like, ooh, a glove, a makeup glove never opened it i have so many mats and gloves to use when it comes down to cleaning my brushes i'm just probably never gonna open it so i'm gonna gift it to one of you guys in the giveaway i'm gonna have some good stuff in the giveaway and like i said i want it to be two winners for whenever we hit 5k i want it to be two winners and i am gonna go out and buy some makeup palettes and all that good stuff to go along with it so y'all gonna have some good stuff when we hit 5K, baby. All right, my Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder. This one is in deep. I don't think I opened this yet. No, I remember liking this back in the day and I remember going to pick it up because I was like, I made a, I like, I hit pan on one of these back in the day. And it was in deep. Um, I know the formula seems to have changed up a little bit because I had it for so long. So I remember going to pick up a backup and I think it's time to pull it out because the other one is currently in my project pan. So I'm going to keep it and try to use it. This here, you guys, I keep saying I'm going to use this for Halloween, but I've had this for about two years and still haven't used it. It's the Wet n Wild Fancy Maker Wildly Wicked Stencil Kit to do like the Pop Diva look. And I keep saying I'm going to use it and I'm going to do it and I never do. So I'm going to give it to my niece. As well as this Eyes on the 70s palette by BH Cosmetics. You guys, this is still in the freaking wrapper. Still. And I could have gifted this to one of my nieces for Christmas, but I didn't even know it was in here. So I'm going to gift it to one of them now because I've never opened it. So for the last three products we have, we have the Yes to Tomatoes. Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. You guys, I remember buying this and I remember saying, damn, that looks promising. And I have yet to use it. So, do I put it in the giveaway or do I actually pull it out and try it? You know what? I don't want to put nothing in a giveaway that I don't actually know about. So, I'm going to test this out. And if I end up liking it, I'll go purchase another one and put it into the giveaway. That's what we'll do because I honestly never tried it. The seal has never been broken on it. So, I'm going to test that out and try it. Now, this Coco Cabana Cream by Sol Janeiro, you guys know, BoxyCharm, Ipsy, everybody gifts you these in the subscription boxes, and I absolutely love these. I am going to give this one to one of you guys. This one is the Moisturized Magnet Oil and Water Body Cream. The Coco Cabana Cream smells so good, and I have two other ones, and I think one of them is Coco Cabana, but I've never opened this one, and I'm not finished with any of the other ones that I have opened, so I am going to give this to one of you guys. I do know about this product, and I do love it. All right, and then the last product is going to be the Koki Professional in 70C. Yeah, I thought so. This is the one that I bought as a backup, but I actually was using two of them at the same time, not even realizing. So, I'm going to keep this one because this is my perfect shade. My Koki Professionals video should be up shortly. I go over the Koki Professionals brand and line and use it, do a makeup look, use it, talk about it, and all that good stuff. Um... Because Koki Professionals is no longer sold in my stores, so I just wanted to do 
a video talking about them. Hopefully they'll bring them back if they see my video. You know they don't know who I am, but oh well, it's worth a shot. Girl, and here are some of the items that will be going to you guys. This all will be going into the 5K giveaway. Y'all, I always pile up my giveaway drawer, but I can never do a giveaway. I can never do a giveaway. So hopefully a part of this little collection here amps y'all to get your girl to 5K so that we can have two giveaway winners and I could get rid of some of this giveaway stuff because I don't want to hoard it for the rest of my life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Share this video if you like and rate this video. Girl, whether you give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up, y'all still let me know what to bring you and what to stop bringing you. But I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining and I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces. Really quickly, I wanted to pop back in and show you guys the actual giveaway drawer. This thing is really deep. I went through the products and took out, I went through this drawer and took out a whole lot of things that I just, I didn't think y'all would be interested in. And I just filled it right back up and it is to the rim of the drawer still. And I took out a lot of stuff.